Hi, this is Steve Austin with Call Banker and RoseWillandRocket.com, and today we're looking at the July numbers, and I'm excited because I'm with the girl who's the number one in my heart, my wife Heather. Uh, but anyways, enough mushy stuff. In Roseville, um, in, through July, the average sales price was 262298 The number of homes sold in July was 168 The number of homes that are on the market currently today, which is August 19th, is 664 The number of days on market for the ones that sold in July were 69 days on market. Heather, did you want to do the Rockland number? Sure. Rockland, the average sales price was two sixty eight seven hundred and ninety nine. The number of houses sold in Rockland was ninety seven. Number of homes active on the market are two hundred and seventy six, and then our days on market was seventy nine, which actually is interesting because it's gone up and it's more reflective of what we had going on in May. Yeah, and so it was eighty fifty three, and that could be selling season in seventy nine. But another number that has a big effect on that is the percentage of short sales that were closed. Short sales typically are on the market longer. So they had, I think the month before, it was 32% of the, the sales were short sales. And then this month in July, was 38% were short sales. And so I think that has a big effect on it. And one thing I noticed about the Rockland numbers too that was weird to me, we had like 55 sold that were REO, um, which is basically 20%. And then currently there's 57. So that absorption rate was only one month for Rockland numbers, which is sort of... Um, well, amazingly low, and uh, so it's just different, you know. Uh, th things are going well right now. We don't have that much inventory. People have keeps thinking that there's yeah. going to be a lot of inventory coming on. It hasn't been coming. Um, well, you've been told, you know, yeah. That, yeah. that things are coming, yeah. and you know. Well, one thing nice about having Heather, she's in charge of our listing. I was hoping you would talk about our listing is the number of listing hits we're getting on our websites for the, each individual property. Yeah. And, you know, I'm also looking at what the traffic is coming to Realtor.com, California Moves, Cole Banker, Trulia and Zillow, and also our website. Uh, a few things that I noticed that were sort of interesting, you know, if you are a seller, is that the... The traffic wasn't as good, I thought, in June. It was spectacular in May, and it really kind of ca caught on in July. But in August, we had a nice surge of look uh, of looks on the, and hits on the websites. And it really didn't make sense to me, because typically you see a big surge when it's a fresh mm -hmm. listing or there's a price reduction. Yeah. So it's kind of reflective. Maybe people were in a panic in August, and maybe, you know, you're almost getting past that point of getting into school for families. Yeah. So... I'm curious. I don't really know the reason why looks went up, but I was happy because, you know, yeah, I'm always yeah. happy to get more yeah. hits on the websites for our sellers. Well, it was a hot summer, I think, too. Sometimes people do the driving through the internet <laughs> instead of driving in their cars True. sometimes when it gets that hot. And also, I think that right now people are expanding their horizons, yeah. opening up to what they're looking for, not thinking that it's going to come on the the market is so they like I had people that were pools only that are not pools only that type of thing and right? you know and that is if you are curious as a seller we are noticing you know buyers are ma making modifications because the inventory that they desire and request as their forever home or their move yeah. up home it doesn't exist currently on the market so they are making modifications to their criteria of looking homes like they have the hope to get yeah. the ideal home but you know good yeah. point Heather you're yeah. amazing Thank you. <laughs> Anyways, we're Roseville and Rockham.com, and I almost kissed you there. Sorry about that. <laughs> but uh, my my web, website's Roseville and Rockham.com. My number is 308 2446, 916 308 2446. And give us a call anytime or email Heather's probably the best thing, Roseville and Rockland at gmail.com. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye.